Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to talk about how to reset your password in Splunk which is basically like you do it in Google, you just click reset password and then a mail comes where you just ask your security code and then you give it all that but in Splunk you gotta go into a plugin into the backend and then do some settings changes and then have to reset some stuff in order to have our new credentials being used so when I was trying, I just forgot because it's been a long time. I used this instance. So when I came back, I forgot the password. So I just thought make a, another video about that too. So let's just dive deep into the video. And as always, all the codes are available in my Git. You can always check that if you want prefer reading. I'll make a, make a little bit Git where you can read it. So let's dive into the video. Uh, so we are in the Splunk Enterprise instance. We turn down Splunk, it's up and running. So now the problem that we're going to solve is using the password. So now we'll just try with the default password to show you that it works. Choose admin and password. It doesn't work. Yeah, admin one and password it goes in. But for example, let's just say in this case you forgot the password or you, you have no idea what the password is. So let's just re reset it. Then you give it a server dot splunk. Is that? I think there is a bug, but I'm not sure because every time I use this Google Plus Home, when I give a restart, just this the connection just gets lost. Lost. I don't know why. What's the problem there? Maybe if you get, maybe if I switch tabs, it gets lost. But I'm not sure at the moment. And we'll see anyway. So the password is basically admin one and password is password and this password is password. So if this can be from this plunk. See if I do this. See back. That's good. Now if I try for example another that is admin one, then I forgot the password, so I'm just trying some random stuff and just login fail. Login fail. Login fail. So what how can you it says if you have forgotten your password please contact your Splunk administrator we are the Splunk administrator so how do we change it so what we do is go back to the back end of your instance then we just clear this to make it easier for you to view so oh, it's just, uh, keep this small and clean so we just go into sudo user to make it a little bit easier for us so now what we do is that we are in the Splunk folder, home folder, obviously. We see ls and then we see a folder called etc. So what we do, we do etc, we go in and then I'll show you another file which is this file which is password pss wd. We just want to remove that, so we just give remove because that's where our password is basically stored. If you want to see, I can show you. So, nano password. So, it's just in the so called password admin one is what I told you. It's the username and then the password which is obviously in the encrypted form but we don't want that because that is our old password so what we do is we give remove then we give password and it's done we don't have to see that anymore so it's done so now what we do is we come back a step back we come to Splunk then we go to set a new password credentials the password and the user for user new set new credentials so that 
that this file will be generated again once you do this so you go to etc then you choose system slash local yeah exactly all this thing trigger happens yeah now if you see yeah obviously because uh, before always creating a tutorial for the youtube or anywhere i used to test it out so when i test it out i changed the password i created a file which will not be visible so you don't have to worry if you're thinking about the privacy matters now we have to create a and that is user seed dot conf and then give something like user info New password, whatever you want. My case, I'll just give password for the moment. Then you save the file. Why? Yes, save it. You'll see the file. But, however, let's just, let's just go back. Then you'll go into bin and then give a dot slash restart. If I show you, scrum to restart. Now I'll show you when I'm going into the ECT place where we just created the password, but a new password file will be generated as you change the credentials. So let me just show you. Time and then yeah. you know, you can so I password what no it is agree please set up oh, okay okay I get it okay okay I got it I got it let me just correct it Same RM password. Why? Oh, it was not created. So, what I do now is I go system slash local. If you see, see this. Must be the one that you are created in the Linux instance, so I did not do it. So, user info, and we'll go back to username 
I just need to skip admin because we yes that makes sense now pass because we already have the admin and then the username is the same okay now let's just give a password which you want just give it all over now then control Start. Do a spank restart. As you see whether this works now. Yes, so we do that. Give a quick refresh. So we do admin and the password. No. Hello world. Voila. Voila. So this is how you do it. To reset the password that you or the forgot the password you want to reset so give the name which the username which you already created because i did not create a new user in the linux as an orion so it was an error so if you i'm sure you already created a file user that is what you want to do a forgotten password so that's how you do it so you don't have to worry about them you don't have to worry about the confidentiality of the file because if i show you for example, I'll just give you cd slash cd dot dot cd slash etc. I'll just show you the ls and then no, 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 I'm sorry, explore slash etc. Now I'll show you the ls in this password file. Yeah, no. Faster. You can see it's encrypted, so you don't have to worry. No one will see your, no one will be able to see your file. And if you're wondering to see the system slash local, I keep on forgetting which one is. If you see, I made an error which when I was creating a file, I gave an underscore rather than just an hyphen. So the, if you see what I did now is the hyphen file is not there because that's what converted the file into the password that you resetted. So you're safe. I'll just show you this is just an old one with the Orion, which didn't work obviously. See, it's the old one with the Orion, so you just remove it. It's no use, so it's just absolutely no use. So, so this is how you change your password or reset your password knowing the admin because already you have an account, you know, reset. So this time you change it so i i hope this is helpful for you guys so catch you in another one until then be safe bye bye everyone